Hi Gemini, welcome to your July 2021 general reading. Thanks for joining me. My name is Michelle and this is for Sun and Rising Signs. Doing a general reading today. If love pops up, we'll talk about it of course, but going more for the general energies around Sun and Rising Sign Gemini for the month of July. Just finishing up your shuffle here guys and we'll get into the reading. Gemini, let's take a look. Messages for Gemini for the month of July 2021. We'll start with uh, you. Theme of the month. We'll take a look at a goal that you're going to pursue. An obstacle that you may face along the way. What's going to be accomplished. Something to be avoided. Something to be embraced. Surrounding or supporting energy and your advice card here gemini let's take a look at some oracles we'll start with the mermaids for july and we'll get the uh, a gentle message for my gorgeous gemini's please for gemini for the month of july message for gemini please for gemini message for sun and rising sign gemini's transparency This is not only just about you being honest and authentic, genuine and fully present in the moment, but also seeing the, that in other people as well, being able to discern who is genuine and who is not being true. Okay, I like that energy around you, Gemini. Uh, let's take a look. I'll get a card from the As Above, So Below deck. What is the energy around Gemini for the month of July? The energy around Gemini, please. For the month of July. The energy around Gemini. For the month of July. The Spider. Okay. Let's take a look at Mr. Spider here. He's a Earth energy. Of course. The Spider. Well, of course, when we think about the web that a spider creates, it is about connectivity, uh, connection, also what we catch, of course. It's the web which ties us all together. The spider, it is about building, building connections. Communication is key, of course. The, uh, the spider serves as a symbol of that which ties us together as a whole in the universe. Now, among the Pueblo Indians, the spider is honoured in the form of a powerful deity known as Spider Woman. Spider Woman was believed to have created the world through her spinning. Uh, numerous tales are told of uh, spiders as a, uh, a trickster figure who ultimately benefits mankind despite his antics. Today, the spider's web has gained a new connotation with the creation of the World Wide Web, which serves to connect all of humanity. So there may be some internet, internet connections here in which you are needing to see beyond how things appear. Uh, as we all know, there can be people on the World Wide Web who are not what they appear. Uh, who are not honest, who are not authentic and true. The ability to discern, to recognize what is true and what isn't. Very powerful energy around you here, uh, Gemini, for the month of July. Uh, let's see, what should you be focused on? Gemini, for the month of July. Okay, balance, yeah, again I'm getting this, this strong energy, for those of you who are connecting with people online, there's a particular warning here, Gemini, I want to get one more card and then we'll dive into the reading, message for Gemini, one more message for Gemini, please, spirit guides. Okay, that one came out quite quickly. Don't compromise. That's an important energy. With that one, 
don't compromise your principles, don't compromise who you are to fit in with others. True wisdom stands the test of time and of course any decision that you make not to compromise on something that you truly believe in is a wise one. Yes. Okay, strength and commitment that you've shown towards something that you believe in. You will soon reap the rewards and your strength and strong commitment will serve both you and others well. What was previously rejected will soon be accepted. Okay, let's see where that one goes. Gemini. The Ace of Swords is coming up in the reverse. Now this is you. It's a very powerful kind of energy. It does feel a bit forceful. I'll have to see where this goes. Now I am picking it up as communication. It does feel a little bit like an attack. I, I don't know why that's coming up that way, but let's see. The Eight of Wands, yeah, communication. Uh, again, I get internet, very strong vibration of the World Wide Web. This is not in-person communication. This is communication done via text, uh, email, messenger services online. We have the... Uh, the hanged man here he's coming up in the reverse there's a need to see things from another point of view from another perspective there's an energy around and this is unlike gemini normally i see you as someone who has very good communication skills a very good skill the ability to not only uh, speak very clearly but also find out from others it's, it almost feels like interrogation I get like an interrogation kind of energy Let, let's see where this is going I'm not sure where it's going yet guys we've got judgment right in the middle judging someone making a negative judgment about something that you have rejected you've rejected someone here Gemini but you're not being transparent about it okay the Two of Wands. Now this is coming up as an accomplishment. It's being able to discern the right path ahead. I get this as an energy of you taking some time to make the right judgment between two things. It seems like you've got a choice in front of you that involves something that feels authentic and true to you and something that doesn't. You know the right path already, but yet you're tempted by the other path. Okay, let's see. Something to be avoided, the Queen of Cups. Mm. This is someone that's around you. You're avoiding this person. You're avoiding, you're avoiding love. You're avoiding, okay, you're avoiding love. Uh, Gemini. It seems like you have two ways ahead of you. One involves love. The other involves something that is easier
you feel it's easier now it's, I'm not saying it is easier but you're thinking it's easier something that you you don't feel a connection to that you don't feel love for there's there's a path where there are intense emotions and there is a path where there are no emotions you're feeling that the no emotional path is easier Gemini so you're tempted to take that so you're avoiding feeling you're avoiding emotions something to be embraced the five of cups but yet you're missing you're missing those that connection I feel that you're actually longing for this person that's around you who I feel you have love for yeah you fall if I feel that you've fallen in love with someone or you were falling in love but I do feel that you have rejected this love but the wheel of destiny is all around you here Gemini this is your destiny this is your path but of course it's well my spirit guide is saying although the chance is here the opportunity for love is here uh, Gemini may not take it but with the world the wheel of destiny leading to the world leading to fulfillment leading to happiness completion success in all things the world is at your feet here Gemini but you're avoiding making the choice you're ignoring it Hmm. there's a strong connection that you have with someone it is love it is a loving connection it is destined but you're avoiding making you're avoiding this person you're avoiding communicating with them some of you Gemini's are even being somewhat destructive with your choices by rejecting this person and perhaps choosing another path spirit is saying it's up to you of course which path you take here but be mindful that the path that you choose is one that you're going to have to stick to and complete okay with this energy of not compromising I want to get a card on that so let's have a look this is standing up standing true it's knowing your beliefs knowing what's important knowing your values and not compromising on your values knowing the knowing what's right again I get Gemini you know the path you know what's right but yet you're tempted to reject that path to go on another but that would be compromising your values compromising your beliefs so let's see message for Gemini please what does Gemini need to hear with this reading what does Gemini need to hear please spirit guides with this reading what does Gemini what does Gemini need to okay the one inside who is aware that you are always talking to yourself about yourself is always silent it is a doorway to the depths of your being okay that's interesting the one inside who is aware that you are always talking to yourself about yourself is always silent it is a doorway to the depths of your being this feels like beating yourself up because you know the right thing to do it's like that voice inside is saying Gemini you know what to do but it's at war with itself as well because there's some kind of overriding 
Okay, I'm getting this overriding message. Now, where is that coming from? It could be coming from an external source, of course, but for some of you, I'm getting it, this is also part of yourself. Coming from a place of fear, doubt, mistrust. Becoming consciously aware of the voices inside that have power over you. Negative voices. And not letting that voice have power, have, have control over you, over your actions. Okay, that's what I'm getting there. Uh, Gemini, quite a powerful message. Mm. Indeed. You know, when we talk about balance here, when we make a decision, we have to come from a place of balance. And I feel that this voice that you're hearing, this negative voice inside you at the moment, that's not creating a, a balanced place for you to make the right choice. So I do feel that you do have to take some time here to rebalance your energy before you make any kind of major decision. Uh, Gemini, let's talk about balance for a moment. It's a grounding kind of energy. You know, when we expend too much energy towards other people, towards other things, distractions, work, family, whatever that might be, then we need to take time for ourselves to replenish that energy, to restore that energy source. So this card signifies a need for balance, to get your equilibrium of your inner worlds. Now your external world is a reflection of course of your inner worlds and right now there's a call for balance in the giving and receiving of energy. If you've been taking care of everyone else's needs but not your own, if you've been giving a lot of yourself, then that balance between giving and receiving is uneven. And being in this unbalanced state can cause you to feel overwhelmed, fatigued when dealing with challenges so you can't make good decisions when you give so much of your energy. It's vital that you replenish that energy afterwards. So I feel that you've taken a break from giving to other people, needing to restore your equilibrium here, taking time out, perhaps in nature, getting rest, practicing self-love, being self-nurturing, eating healthy foods, being around people who uplift you and encourage your journey. Yeah, if your external world has become mentally, physically or emotionally challenged or challenging I should say that it's usually a reflection of what's going on internally when one gives too much without receiving the equivalent energy back then deeper issues arise they become exposed yes There's a strong energy of you needing to center, to reground yourself, to nurture yourself, to bring back the balance here before you make any major moves or decisions. And I feel that you have to communicate that to anyone who is putting responsibilities onto you that you can't handle at this particular time. If you are overwhelmed, then be honest. Speak that truth and say, look, I'm overwhelmed. I, I, I can't deal with this right now. Don't compromise on your needs here. Uh, you can't put other people's needs before your own. You know what? People who uh, love you and people who care for you will respect that. They will respect that you're standing up for yourself and respect that you need your own to move at your own pace. 
Anyone who loves and cares for you will understand that. But you have to communicate it, you know, so that there is no misunderstandings, that people aren't just thinking you're ignoring them or rejecting them. Because I do feel that there is a longing here. You, you long to be with someone, but you can't be with them because you are feeling overwhelmed and it's just too much. The intensity is too strong, uh, Gemini. Yes. But the, the time will be soon when you see this person again. Yes. The important thing is when you're in this in-between stage, between, you, between seeing this person becoming a little bit overwhelmed with, the, uh, with your responsibilities, with what you have around you at the moment, and between now and a time that's coming soon when you make a choice, allow yourself to rest, rejuvenate, and be mindful of how you spend your time. Uh, my spirit guide is saying take time away from the computer, take time away from any kind of distractive or destructive energy. Uh, things like um, things that you shouldn't be reading about, uh, things that cause you to become overwhelmed or create even more imbalance like uh, news media or, or things there that irritate you online, social media, things like that. Gemini. There'll be a time for connection or reconnection but at the present time I see you more as a solitary energy. This is just who you are. This is something that you need. You, you need times when you connect with other people and times when you don't. You, you have to draw back your energy and that's perfectly fine. That's absolutely okay. And as I said, it's to rest people recognize that that's to restore your energy and no one's going to uh, to give you any kind of or if they do then then they're the wrong kind of people uh, it, it will really sort out the the right people from the people who love and respect you, you know, people who love and respect will give you your time people who are trying to force you well that that's not your type of person Gemini is it really um, Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, you know, I feel that you just need the time to to reflect, uh, to feel something, to feel Yeah, to, to, to really kind of you're the type of person who needs time to think about why you're feeling a certain way you know, you're not the type of person who just feels you have to think about why you're feeling that way that's just part of your makeup so that's why you need this time there are a lot of other people in the world who will just act upon their feelings without thinking about it you're not that person Gemini You'll feel the feelings, but then you'll go away and, and need to think about it for a while. To reflect on what's happening, why it's happening. And you're delaying your judgment at the moment. It may seem like you're rejecting someone, but I don't feel that you are. I feel that you will make the choice that's right for you in good time. But these voices that are around you and within you need to be quietened before you can make that choice. Things need to be very, very clear in your mind. You need to clear out all of these distractions from your mind before you can make any kind of choice. 
uh, Gemini. So let's talk about this in the extended. I'm going to go deeper into this. Uh, please do join me there if this is your reading. The link is down below or if you if you would like to join my channel memberships, my band of gypsies, I'd love to have you. At the top tier level you can gain access to all of the extended readings including the uh, love readings and I do about 36 a month. There are ways that you can join my band of gypsies by clicking on the join button below or looking in the box for the link. Uh, please do press that, take a moment to press that thumbs up button. I'd love for you to do that for me. That'd be very good for my channel. Please share me on your social media. Let people know where to find me. I'd be so appreciative of that. If you're a newcomer, love to have you. Please subscribe and consider hitting that notification bell. And leave me a comment, Gemini. Let me know what's going on for you in the month of July. Wishing you the best with this. Uh, please do take care and bye for now.